Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And uh, I've got a good one for you. Today, I am in Newport Beach outside uh, the Balboa Pavilion. I just walk through the fun zone by myself because it seems like nobody's out shopping today. But uh, it's kind of the theme of today's video, and that is that people are tapped out. People are out of money right now completely. And uh, we're going to cover all that. And uh, please don't forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And uh, also today, Weeble, take a look at Weeble. If you guys want to trade stocks, the easiest place to trade stocks. If you open an account, use the link below. They'll give you two shares of stock. And if you deposit anything, they'll give you 10 shares that could be worth up to a staggering $30,600. You can trade um, stocks, options, cryptos. It's just an amazing place to do that. It's very, very simple. Uh, this is the Balboa Fun Zone, and it's more fun when there's people here. Uh, but again, people have no money right now. And we are seeing that play out right before us. Uh, the stock market can go to a million. The Dow could just quadruple, you know, and uh, it is not based in reality in any way, shape, or form. You can sit there and say that inflation drops two-tenths of one percent and we're going to celebrate and have a huge party. That is insanity, guys, because everything is off right now. Uh, C.H. Robinson, the trucking company, uh, they just announced that they're going to let go another 1,200 people and that they got ahead of themselves as far as hiring. 17,000 people work for the company and they're getting rid of 1,200, which is almost 10% of their staff right now. Okay, but everything's great, guys. Everything's good. FedEx is off, not shipping. FedEx is uh, keeping planes parked right now because people are not shipping globally like they were before. The world's largest home builder, D.H. Uh, uh, Horton, uh, they announced that uh, they're going to cancel some new developments. So much. So think about this. The deposits on the developments. To, con uh, to continue with the developments, uh, they'd rather waive the deposits and lose the $34 million than continue with the projects. That's staggering, guys. That, that's very, very telling. So I don't know how the board of directors approves stuff like that, but that's the state of things right now. And uh, this is like where the Catalina Flyer is, guys, over here. And you've got some of the public docks where some of the boats are at and things like that. And uh, again, today, really low tide. But just a beautiful sunny day out here. That's really nice. So people, again, are completely tapped out. Credit's at an all-time high as far as what people have for credit. Uh, Thanksgiving is going to be absolutely abysmal this year. Think about this. Turkeys are up almost 30%. Uh, eggs are up almost 30%. Butter, hey, butter is going down because now it looks like there's not the butter problem that we had a month ago. And butter is only up 25%. Wheat, if you can get it, wheat is still up. It's very calm. You've got the ferry right there going across. But guys, this is bad. How about this one? More people have said that they're going to go out and eat on Thanksgiving than they're going to eat in their own homes. So food inflation is a huge deal. The expense of eating out is only up 5% on an average for uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Which I don't believe because everything else is sky high right now. So the food inflation is through the roof. The gas inflation is through the roof. But we're supposed to believe that everybody's going to just go out and eat, din eat dinner. Now, I've looked around, and it is crazy what uh, some places are charging for a Thanksgiving dinner. $90 a person. It's insanity. So, yeah, they're higher in restaurants and things like that. And as we get closer to the day, I'll start to report more of that stuff for you. But people can't afford that, you know? So share your thoughts on this stuff what you guys think you're seeing and what you think you're going to do. But, uh, you know, again, as far as 
the uh, uh, mortgage industry. I love this one uh, from uh, Housing News. They broke out a story. Mortgage rates drop with uh, the uh, inflationary numbers being announced. That's insane, guys. So go buy a house today, guys. Go put your family at risk. Go put your financial health at risk for the rest of your life. Go do that. Because here's the thing that's going to happen. You're still going to see interest rates go up. You're still going to see car uh, lending go up. Again, more people are behind in their cars right now than ever before. This is going to be a tsunami, a you know tidal wave, whatever you want to call it, of people getting their cars repossessed right now. It's going to be absolutely upside down. And it's going to be absolutely catastrophic. And again, if you want to buy a car, wait. A little patience. Because there are going to be a ton of used cars for sale in short order. 60 days, 90 days, it's going to start to come in. But you've got to be one of those people that can have a little patience. Because most people don't have the patience. Most people want to jump on it now. I want it now. So one thing I did today that was insane was I went to uh, Home Depot to look at their... Uh, Black Friday, because remember, Black Friday's already started, and uh, boy, was it stellar. So take a look at this. So it's Black Friday at the Home Depot. Let's go take a look inside and see what's uh, not for sale. And uh, again, it's kind of ridiculous, you know. You've got... Uh, the pellet grills for 700 bucks. It's ridiculous, guys. Let's go take a look inside. So this is all the Black Friday merchandise. You've got a ton of Christmas ornaments and Christmas decorations. It's just ridiculous. There's nothing here that makes you want to you know, stop and drop everything and buy it. There's no huge savings. There's no huge savings on tools. There's no huge savings on anything. And again, you know, screwdrivers, saw blades, things like that. And it's absolutely ridiculous, guys. It's really nothing that uh, stands out that you have to have right now when it comes to Home Depot's Black Friday. I have a great story. I'm just walking by this restaurant, the Newport Landing, and... Uh, have you guys had this happen lately? Because these people were just tearing into the, uh, the server and she was defending herself. But think about this. You go with a coupon for some promotion and you go to the restaurant and she's like, listen, you guys ordered extra tomatoes. You ordered extra cheese. You ordered this. You've got to pay for all that stuff. That is a killer right now, guys. Because when you eat out, I'm telling you, I, I go to restaurants and they say, listen, Hey, can we get tomatoes for that? Yeah, we're going to charge you for that. Hey, can we get cheese? We're going to charge you for that. Everything gets charged. You get charged for now. And a lot of people cannot handle that. And these people, I was trying to film it because they were losing it. And, uh, uh, but there was music playing. So I had to like walk away from it because you can't have the music on the video. So have you guys experienced that lately? Because this is a killer. This is the worst part about eating out right now is that... Nothing is a deal right now, guys. They want to charge you for absolutely everything. And shrinkflation is when you pay this and you used to get this, but you get a lot less. That's what shrinkflation is. That's happening, especially in the restaurant business. And as we get closer to Thanksgiving, we're going to see more and more experiences like this where you're going to see what's included. You used to go and, and, and buy one, you know, one price meal for Thanksgiving. Here's the one thing. My kids used to love to go to, of all places, El Torito on Thanksgiving because they would cook turkey, they would have Mexican food, they would have everything. You'd have traditional Thanksgiving stuff and you would have uh, turkey and things like that. And it used to be $18.95. That one I will check too. It'll be very interesting to see how much that is now. But when you go out, there's nothing but surprises right now. Inflationary costs. Uh, no more buy one, get one, no more soup and salad included, none of that stuff right now. So what are you guys seeing right now with that? Because I think, it's, I think it's, it's, it's happening all over the place, but these people were just, you know, tearing into her. WeWork. WeWork is a company that is like Regent, uh, that you can rent an office space from and have a, a remote office 
very inexpensive. Uh, it was designed to be very hip and cool. I hate these places. I find them to be incredibly, um, you know, distracting. You know, people sitting in beanbag chairs in the center room talking amongst themselves. I, I don't know how you can get things done in places like that. I'm sure certain environments it works. It didn't work for the medical. It didn't work for tech. When I would try to have events at places like this, they would want to charge me a huge chunk to have an event there, but they wouldn't shut it off to the regular staff. Well, we can't limit them. Well, okay, we're charging per head for people to show up uh, for this, and you guys just want to let them walk in willy nilly. So they just announced that WeWork is going to close 40 locations across the country. So 40 cities they're getting out of right now, and that's a telltale sign of how bad the economy is. 40 more cities are done. Do you guys see that? Do you think that this is a good economy right now? Because people can't afford office space because things are not getting done right now. So share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. This is, this is nice over here. I always like coming over here because as you walk away from the fun zone, it gets quieter and quieter. Get a lot of construction noise over here, though, in this area. You can hear that people working on the high rise there. But share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. You know, I just, the dining experience is not the same. It's not, it's just, it's like, it's like they're chiseling. It's like going, when I went to Vegas, remember we used to go to Vegas and there used to be discount places and you'd go downtown and you'd have those cheap meals and things like that. They're there. But, oh, you got to eat here at 1130 at night. you got to hop on one foot. you got to spend $50 gambling. You have to do things to get most of those discounts now. Um, they used to be great. They used to be really, really inexpensive. But now it's not worth the headache or the potential crime to go to some of, the, of those areas. So share your thoughts on that. I found a great article for you about the perception of what is real, what's happening to how it's explained to us. And a perfect example of that is the inflation problem and how, wow, the inflation, it's great. This is all good news. Uh, it is not, guys. I'm telling you this right now. You can believe anything you want. Remember in June, inflation peaked and ha, ha, ha. It's at zero, all that stuff. Okay, remember that because... I have a feeling that's what we're going to experience again real soon. But this is the time of year when you have uh, holiday hiring. And they say that holiday hiring is going to be off 40% because people are just, they don't see the demand. They don't see the demand in the stores. And they, especially in retail, places like Macy's, places like the mall, places like that that have a normally, normally a huge demand for people to work a second job, fill in shifts and things like that. No, not this year. It's going to be off. It's going to be off absolutely dramatically. And uh, you're going to see these big companies, again, low tide. And somebody wrote me and said, low tide happens every day. No, it's not this low. This is a super low tide right now. And uh, normally these boats are not sitting there on the sand like that. And uh, the public dock is nice to walk out to. And, Get a good glimpse of what's happening in the world. By the way, I'm I'm on the opposite side of where I was at in the last video. Just a beautiful spot, really, really peaceful out here. But you're gonna see more and more of this in the, the holiday hiring. You know, here's the thing about being here in Southern California, and this is the cool thing about the party, is that you get people that say, Wow, Southern California in November? Yeah, I'll go there. It's gonna be great. And it, this is the November weather, guys. So people are flying in today, you know, getting together, having dinner tonight with people. It's going to be awesome. But the common, majority are coming from cold places to come here. That was the best part about running a conference here in January is that we would run on the docks. We'd run on the pier and advertise, hey, guys, come to Southern California. MedTech Monday, baby. And and. Oh, you know, they'd leave Minneapolis, leave the snow to come here. It was fantastic. But one thing that normally is a big deal is the amusement parks. Disneyland and uh, Knott's Berry Farm here in Southern California 
and Six Flags has a Six Flags has over two dozen locations around the country. But Six Flags has a huge problem right now, and uh, so much so that uh, the CEO stepped forward and said that when people get to the front of the amusement park to pay, that it is absolute sticker shock with what they have to pay. And they are utterly shocked at how bad it is. Now, again, I would be one of those people that would say, how much is it to go there for the day? And I would know that. But attendance at Six Flags right now, guys, is off 33%, a third. So, you know, I don't have kids that are of the amusement park age right now. Um, so I feel for you people that have that, grandkids, things like that, because it is a whopper. It is terrible. And a, a friend of mine, her family takes a trip around the country every year at, uh, at Christmas time. They go someplace. And this year, they're coming here. They're coming to Huntington Beach, staying at the hotels, you know, by the pier, and it's going to be nice. But everybody's going to do Universal Studios, Disneyland, Knott's Berry Farm, and, and Six Flags, Magic Mountain, all that stuff. And she was just telling me how shocked she was at things being $200 to go to an amusement park for the day, to park hopper and stuff. It's just absolutely crazy. Back in the day, when I was getting divorced, one thing I did for my kids was I got us the daily passes or the yearly passes for Disneyland. And it was fantastic. It was inexpensive. It was like four or 500 bucks for the year. And my son and I would have days where he'd get out of school, 2.30, 3 o'clock, and we'd go to Disneyland for the day. We had one week that we went four times in a week to Disneyland and park at California Adventure, go out there. Those days are done. Those Those passes don't cover every day you've got to you know you've got to pick the right day package it's just so expensive it's absolutely incredible that uh everything is like that now so everything is more expensive but again guys the economy people are not spending the money people are tapped out right now when it comes to this christmas christmas is going to be bleak and last year i did a video that you know people quit christmas and people lost it last year with that that the idea of christmas is not about the gifts and and again the same thing with thanksgiving thanksgiving is not about you know sitting down around the table and eating a lot of food it's about being together and being thankful for what you have in your health and the people around you people seem to forget that but we're lied to and told that the economy is great and that everything's going to be good and that there's nothing to worry about and uh that inflation is going you know in the right direction now which none of us believe it's just not mathematically happening but you're going to have countries uh, companies so decimated during this time that it will not make a bit of difference i'll check this out guys how low this tide is it makes this really ritzy area very unappealing looks very ghetto-ish and uh and rarely do you see no, oh, it's just covered in water right here. So that's how low it is. And again, it, it happens every day. Low tide. No, it's a little different, guys. Okay? So share your thoughts on all this stuff. How are you guys feeling about cryptos right about now? Do you know anybody that uh, invested in that FTX exchange? Well, think about this. The Bohemian Securities Commission, which really sounds really sounds legitimate but uh, they just seized control of FTX and uh, issued this press release right here which is absolutely amazing Sam Bankman Freed was the man behind all this and he ran a training company called Alameda Research and here's the problem it looks like there was some shenanigans where special treatment was made and special people got their money moved out of certain things that shouldn't have been. And again, this isn't regulated like the stock exchanges, guys. They say it is, but it's not. And you're going to see people lose billions of dollars. There is a rumor right now that the GOAT, Tom Brady, him and his wife, last year put everything, their entire investment uh, portfolio into FTX, which was $650 million. I don't know if that's true or not, but here's what we do know. The Ontario Teachers Pension Plan, okay, in Canada, they 
put together $75 million into FTX last year. They were so happy with the return that they put another 20 million in recently in the last few months. And they look to lose, it looks like they're gonna lose all of it, 100% of it. Genesis Trading, they put $175 million of clients' money in this FTX. And again, guys, cryptos, I don't know it well enough to recommend cryptos. I also, you know, people are, people get greedy with things. And one thing that a lot of investors have said, people that day trade, the Bob Kudlas of the world, the Greg Manorinas of the world, those people, take profits, man. You know, cash out, get some dough, be done with it, and be finished, and be proud that you made money on things. The problem is people want to get 40x returns and things like that, and that's just not feasible with everything. So it is going to be interesting because the Bohemian uh, Securities Commission says that arrests are imminent. So they're going to arrest people for this thing. And do you want to get audited? Trade cryptos. Do you want to you know, hide income? They, they will look for you if you do this now. And they're actively looking for this. You know, the health crisis is over, guys. They're going to look at crypto traders, and you have to look at this. So you better have accurate records on everything that you're doing when it comes to this stuff right now. And this is the perfect example of what an absolute disaster this is going to be. So share your thoughts on all this stuff, because I think that uh, people are about to be shocked at what's happening. We really are on our own financially. And... Uh, Great article out of the New York Times talking about is the crypto exchange failure, is this the Lehman Brothers moment for the crypto industry? Who knows? Who knows? Remember, that was everything's okay until it wasn't. And maybe that's what this is. Maybe people are going to have to go to jail for cryptos uh, for people to realize that there's a problem, there's an issue. Now, you get you know, fat cats like Jamie Dimon that were just sitting around saying how it's backed by nothing and there's no central bank behind it. And I have nothing but problems with the central bank myself. And, uh, but, you know, you decide. So another great article from Fisher Investments about people's debt and how people have more debt now than they've ever had in their lives, but they have assets too. And is that okay? And is everybody going to get through this? And again, the idea is to not owe anybody anything, guys. Now, debt is a fuel, and you can use it to buy assets to make a staggering amount of money. The problem is, is that people have debt on assets that they thought were worth this much that are worth this much, and some of those cryptos are worth zero. Sam Bankman-Fried, that guy had a 14 or $18 billion net worth that is now worth nothing. You know what's funny about those car alarms? Nobody sits there and goes, oh my God, someone's stealing her car. Let's run over there. No, no one cares. It's like, turn that damn thing off. That's what people think. So there is a sheriff in a place called Tehima County, which I've never heard of and had to check to make sure it was in California. And it's um, up above uh, Solana County. And uh, this county has a sheriff that says it's no longer going to patrol the county. So because of catastrophic staffing, they have no sheriffs to drive around and patrol everything. It is, uh, you know, got 66,000 people in the, uh, uh, the county. It's 3,000 square miles, but they have serious violent crime in the county. And there is no sheriff patrol to go out and, you know, make sure people are safe. Uh, violent crime, 9.79 per thousand people, which is, makes it one of the most violent places uh, in the country. So bravo to that. So the bad guys are winning again. Doesn't this just make you freak out when you hear stuff like this? But everything's good in the economy and, and uh, inflation, it's going to go downhill. When do you guys just take control of yourselves and realize that things are not in a good spot? Because that's where I'm at right now. And every day I hear this stuff, I get more and more realistic to protect myself and to protect my family and to make sure that I have money and make sure that I can not work for the rest of my life. I want to have a point in time when I don't have to do that. So share your thoughts on this stuff, guys, because it's getting worse right now and better.
And everybody I've talked to is like, oh, the, the inflationary numbers are ridiculous because everybody knows that they're not based in reality. So let me know what you're thinking about this. I'm going to end this video with something that's kind of wild. And uh, Elon Musk just purchased Twitter and he is seeing that there is a huge problem with the burn rate of money that leaves the company and that the company is not making money and has probably never made money uh, during this entire time. You can believe all the press about how people are going to pull away from the advertising and the blue check marks and all that stuff. But he may end up filing bankruptcy, not to close the company, but to get rid of all that debt and to completely restructure the company. So that could be an option for 2023 where he may file bankruptcy. Think about this. This is the story. This is what I want to get to. He had to take on a bunch of debt, $16 billion worth of debt to buy Twitter. And none of the investment banks are going to buy it right now. You're going to see that happen with retail, with manufacturing, shipping, with uh, places like WeWork. They're not going to step in. These investment banks are not going to bail people out. They're not going to bail out the crypto companies. It's going to be done. You're going to see a staggering amount of people not follow through when it comes to uh, the financing anymore. So you're going to see a lot of businesses go out of business in uh, the next six months. It's going to be an absolutely staggering amount. So don't forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And uh, hope I'm going to see you guys at the party. It's going to be awesome. And uh, don't forget to join the email list. Follow us on all the social media platforms, guys, because we're on all of them. You can link below to the website, and you've got access to all that stuff. Onward and upward, guys. I will see you guys very soon. Email me, ask your questions. I will talk to you guys soon.